Hello everyone. Welcome to Bridge is for Everyone. My name's Jad. This is the first topic in the Let's Play Bridge series. This series shows you how to play bridge in less than ideal circumstances. This episode's topic is Play with Non-Players. Consider this situation. You want to play bridge. This sounds like a great idea, until you discover that your friends don't play bridge. Yes, I know, it's unbelievable. You could have them learn by watching my Learn to Play series, but that takes more than five minutes. So you need a quicker solution. You need Mini Bridge. This video will explain to you how Mini Bridge works from a bridge player's perspective. The next video will be a tool for you to use to explain Mini Bridge to your non player friends. Mini Bridge is simply bridge without the bidding, so there is no need for your friends to learn a bidding system or complex bidding conventions. Instead of bidding, there is a three stage process to determine the contract. First, declarer is identified. Here is how that process works. Starting with the dealer, each player calculates the high card point value of their hand and announces it to the other players. Yes, this means your friends need to know how to calculate high card points. Next, you determine which pair has the greatest total high card points. This pair will have the contract. If the two pair totals are the same, then dealer's pair is chosen. From this pair, the player with the most high card points is declarer and will play the hand. If the players have the same high card points, the first in the sequence to say their high card points is declarer. Second, declarer must set the contract strain. This starts with dummy's hand being placed face up on the table. This is different from standard bridge, where dummy is not placed until after the opening lead. Declarer checks for a fit if the pair have eight cards in either hearts or spades, then whichever of these suits has the most cards is the contract suit. If both suits have the same number of cards, declarer picks one. If there is no major suit fit, declarer checks to see if both hands are balanced. If they are, then the contract will be in no trump. So, your friends need to be able to identify a balanced hand. If there is still no contract strain identified, declarer checks for a minor suit fit. If a fit is found, the contract suit is the one with the most cards. In the case of a tie, declarer may choose. With no minor suit fit, the contract strain is set as no trump. The final step is to set the contract level. This is based on the total high card points of the partnership. With 37 or more high card points, the contract level is 7. With 33 to 36 high card points, the contract level is 6. If the contract strain is a minor suit, then with 29 to 32 high card points, the contract level is 5. If the contract strain is a major suit, then with 25 to 32 high card points, the contract level is 4. And if the contract strain is no trump, then with 25 to 32 high card points, the contract level is 3. In all other cases, the contract level is 1. By combining the declarer, contract level and strain, 
you arrive at a contract. You will understand this contract, but your friends may not. You need to make it clear by translating it into plain language. The best way to do this is to use declarer's name and say who is playing the hand. Then state the number of tricks needed to be won in total. And lastly, identify the trump suit if there is one, or simply say there is no trump suit. From this point, the play proceeds as for standard bridge, so your friends will need to understand how to play a trick. It is helpful to identify by name the person who will make the opening lead. And it's a good idea to remind dummy not to help declarer. Once the play is complete, score the hand as you would in casual play. There is, or will soon be, an episode on scoring in my workshop series. The easiest way to calculate the score is using a website or app. So far, I have shown you how to play when you're playing with three friends and also playing yourself. But if you can persuade four friends to play and are willing to forego playing yourself, you can make mini bridge even easier for your friends. You act more like the director in a bridge club. Because you are not playing, you can look at each player's hand in turn, determine the contract silently using the same process, and then announce the contract to the players. In this case, dummy is placed as it would be in standard bridge after the opening lead. Mini bridge is a great way to introduce your friends to bridge. Once they are familiar with it, there are several ways in which it can be transitioned slowly into standard bridge. If you'd like to learn about these, let me know in the comments. This video explained how to play bridge with friends who don't know how to play. It did this using my variant of mini bridge. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to this channel. Until next time, this is Jad reminding you that bridge is for everyone.